was so amazing! Oh my god, I'm so happy! I just can't wait to get into this! Hello guys! Welcome to the first episode of our Tales of Arise Let's Play. I've been waiting for this for so long. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Alright, let's start a new game, right? Um, I feel like we should just let everything be at these standard settings and just go. See what it's like. If it's too hard, maybe we can change it. I don't know. In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers, clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts, known as Zugals, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsam, Lord of the Fire Master Core. Master Core? Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. Jesus! They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. And so the plot is set. Renin's versus the Denon's, I guess. Tales of Arise! These poor people! Hurry up. You call that pushing? Put some back into it, embedded! <gasps> uh, Iron Mask? Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work with. All right, third squad. Time to regroup. <laughs> Go on, get moving. Hey, wait for me. He called him embedded. What does that mean? I saw he had a weird thingy in his hand, like a gem. Okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Alright. So I believe he's our main character, right? Mr. Iron Mask. Ask Doc to treat you. Hello. I'm so sorry, Iron Mask. You got hurt because of me. Don't sweat it, kid. It's not like I felt anything. 
But that's why a doctor should be extra careful, doesn't he? Yeah, but at the end of the day, I choose to stick my neck out for you and I don't regret a thing. So don't sweat it, Cole, okay? Okay, thanks, Hiram Mask. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. This guy doesn't feel anything. I think that's it. Okay, hello? After yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. He's angry. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. That'd be bad. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danons are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Keep your voice down, will you? <sighs> if only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. There. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. He does. How does our guy even see? Like, how? <laughs> He's just walking around like everything's fine. Guess I'll go back to my room. Back to our room. Okay. Slave. Just like everyone else here. Map. Feel a full size map. Okay. So our room is over there. Life of a slave. Oh. Activity records is where you can check your mainstream subquest progress. Alright. I like the map. Very useful. Can we look at these green things too? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. So how come I don't have a spirit? Spirit core? Are those the thingies on their hands? Like, I've tried to stay as blissfully ignorant as I could about this game. I know a little bit about the basics, but really not a lot. I really wanted to be surprised by everything. They're not moving. Damn it. Okay, he's he he he, he seems dead. Alright, we can jump. We can dash. Alright. Cool. I should get some rest. Rest? Uh, sure. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? Is your pillow a rock? I guess I should get some shut eye. Good morning. I'd better head to work. Doesn't look like a good morning to me. Great. Right train. What does that even mean? Great. Time to start another day toiling away for the rents. Okay. Am I gonna do this until the day I die? I think you might. 
Okay, what's what's up over here? What are we doing? Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. Pushing a train? Why? What are what are we doing exactly? An attack? Grenar. Zephyr, she's here. My girl! <laughs> Is that smart? <laughs> but yeah, then I knew her touch causes pain. The girl's nowhere to be found. Uh, this hurts. Hey, Impenage, did you find anything? Uh, not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> Trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way or not. Damn, my man helping out without even thinking about it. She is so freaking cool. I love her. Huh? 
Who is she? Why did they have their captive? And why did those guys save her? You all missed your chance to become lord. Which means you lot live and die for me, the mighty Balsam. Got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion. Yes, That's the girl, right? Why does he want her? Drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabel Volkiris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me. I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Burn! Up. It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it. And you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. This man is thick! Okay, no chill. Alright, I see you. Calm down, big evil man. And that's our name. There we go. Where? You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the resistance for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eye's best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. She has a scar on her hand where one of those crystals probably was. Just what the hell is going on? I am wondering about that too, hello. Well, if it isn't Iron Mask himself, good to see you, buddy. You know who I am? Not personally, but one of her guys, Nath, always knows what's going on around Caligula. Nothing people talk about gets past his ears. Heard him talking about you earlier, so once I saw you, I put two and two together, and now here we are. Everyone knows you as the bucket head who stands up to the armored soldiers and can take a beating from them like it's nothing at all. Guess like you don't come around that often at all. It'd be weird if we didn't know about you somehow. Okay, sorry. Chill. Just like being struck by lightning. What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever mind your business? <laughs> so even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? Research, maybe, then? For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. 
And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. Drop the attitude. Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you, Miss Shion Imeris? <laughs> That's her name? You didn't figure it out already? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname, which means one thing. She was Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. So then why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Danny from a Renan, and that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, bright eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look, you see the stone your people embedded in me? And there isn't one. Because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind. The stars are aligned for you. Not to rest until every last hey. one of you is. We Danons may not be capable of using astral arts, but it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you. That's one hell of an ability. It is. Wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? I mean, I see you. Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why. He probably wants to use her as a weapon, I think. They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry. And bring the girl. If she gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask. Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. What are we supposed to do then? <laughs> okay, frick us, I guess. Dual sword. Isn't that freaking great? Okay. Saving and loading. Oh yeah, open the menu. Let's take a quick look. Alright, that's us. We have equipment. So we can equip weapons over here. We've got some armor. We can eventually equip some accessories to raise some stats. Outfits. Ah, uh, there we go. Character's costume. Alright. I wonder if we'll get some eventually. I mean, I I believe there's some DLC, of course. But I wonder if we'll get some in the game as well. A field guide. Glossary. And I guess here we save, load, and get downloadable content. And of course, here are items. I mean, eventually we'll get consumables, which will heal us. Apparently. Stop right there. Battle tutorial. Oh, it's just a Danon. You there? Where's the Renan girl who was here? I don't know. Well, I've... Spit it out. I want an answer, insurgent. How's this for an answer? Go to hell. You dare address a Renan armored soldier that way? Alright, so embedded is basically the mark of their slavery, right? Normal attacks. Press right one to perform a normal attack. At first, you can strike up to three normal attacks together, but by learning certain skills, the limit can be increased. Alright. Arts are special actions performed by pressing part of your AG. Arch gotch. Okay. Evading. Push L and press. All right. Okay. Okay. So attack, attack, attack. And then oh, all right. All right, all right. Oh, this is so different from. Can we jump too? No, we can't. Alright, that's that feels weird that we can jump. Oh, we can, we can. Alright, this is gonna take some getting used to. It's kind of different from the other Tales of games that I've played. So it's gonna take some getting used to, but we'll get there eventually. 
All right, bye. Our first win. I won. I actually beat one of those Renan soldiers. Aren't you a good boy? You're a good boy. I have to survive this no matter what. Oh, great! Two enemies. <laughs> All right, preemptive strike. Do we do that? We don't do that. Okay. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, all right. I see, I see. So I wonder if you can map some of the buttons differently because this feels so weird to me. The dodging feels really weird. I guess that's it. Eh! Damn it. Alright, bye. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Do Wait, doggo? I, I want to say doggo. Oh. A girl! She has a weapon? Oh, yeah. Sheon be mayor, I merit day more. I hereby detain you in the name of his excellency, Lord Bolster. Damn it, Throw down I was so weapon. close. What the? You got some kind of death wish? Those are armored soldiers here. Shut up and get out of here while you still can. Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Hey. We've got a better chance working together. Besides, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Janin. Fine, suit yourself. Okay. And like that, we are fighting together. Very good. Combos. Combos are action strings together with no gaps. Normal attacks of set limit while arts can continue until AG runs out. Normal attacks can separately on the ground and in the air. Okay. Diminishing returns in combos. During a combo, if the same art is used multiple times within four actions, its penetration will decrease in enemies. Jesus. All right. Wait. Mirage. Alright, I see. I'm trying. There we go. We did it. Why did you help me? What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? This is weird. Trust me, I've no great love for Renans. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some... What? Have we met somewhere before? Me? Friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that... Yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. Don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self-sacrificing as I made it out to be. Not really. Besides, I can't feel pain anyway. So it's not like... Wait, you really can't feel pain? Wasn't it obvious when he touched you? Yeah, or you touched him? It's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face, no memories. I only know one thing about myself. That's that I'm a slave. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way, I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. I see. So where to next? Outside, silly. What do you think we fought all this way for? So we're heading outside. Stay sharp. We're going in. Escape from the mine together with Xion. Alright, sounds good to me. Skits, when the indicator appears on the bottom right corner of the screen, you can press air one. So there was a there was a skit. Oh, they really changed it up. Like at all? Of course I can. How else do you think I managed to avoid tripping everywhere I go? I was wondering about this too. Thing anyway. It doesn't look like anything Dan and I've ever seen. Beats me. I don't remember anything about my past. When I came to, I was already wearing it. If I could get it off, I would. 
Damn thing makes it hard to eat. And I can't scratch my face when it itches. It's the worst. Honestly, I'm just impressed you've managed to survive this long looking like that. I'm sure you attract attention wherever you go. Most of the other Danons don't pay it any mind. It's in everyone's best interest to just keep their heads down, focus on their work, and pretend they don't notice. What about the Renan soldiers? Didn't they notice? The guards? They're more the kill first, ask questions later type. Be in the wrong place or step out of line and you're dead. Mask or no mask. That said, as long as you keep your head down and don't cause trouble, they mostly ignore you. Honestly, sometimes they don't look all that keen to stir up trouble themselves. A friend of mine said it's because if they kill us without a good reason, it could delay the work and put them behind schedule. At that point, it'd be their necks on the line. You should know more about all that than me, though, right? I don't serve any of the lords. But I see what you mean. After three centuries of run and rule without much upheaval, it's possible the soldiers might be losing their edge. All this trouble we've caused might be the first excitement they've had in a while. Well, I don't plan on getting killed for their amusement. Let's not. They really, really changed the skits. Like in the other Tales of Games, there were more like anime style portraits. I kind of like that better. I don't hate this, but I like the old ones better. Glad to see you made it. I heard you managed to escape. But I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Come on. I'm not sure if I trust this guy yet. Uh-oh. A traitor! Master Core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Buster! I'm guessing that's important. I can see why. <laughs> okay, that's weird. It's just as well. I can't feel it, huh? Oh my god! Agony? Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? That's bad. Oh yeah, her eyes were blue there. It's one of my healing arts. Good girl. 
A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. They're perfect for each other! Thank you. <sighs> All right. Let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry. You're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place, or would want to. Yeah. Only our guy can do it, it seems. The blazing sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good. Not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my master core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Seemed pretty odd to me when he burned his arms. I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic. I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain, too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Ah. So she just wants to use the sword. You're right. I don't get you. I don't get why you're so quick to throw it all away. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died. <sighs> Dang! You befriended Xion. Zephyr has teamed up with your party. Okay, Xion's fighting style. Xion specializes in gun-based long-range strikes and astral arts. You should hit enemies from a safe distance and to use healing arts on allies with low HP. Okay. Automo when auto mode is enabled, Shion will primarily target flying and astral art winning enemies, as well as foes with lower HP during combat. And I hope she heals us too. Please do. Please do. Cure points. Arts with healing and support effects consume cure points in addition to AG. Cure points is shared across the party and can be restored with items or by staying in an inn or campground. Okay, I see. But well, alright guys, I am going to end this first episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.